Okay, scholars, let's take a look at this lab and how it works. So, first of all, to get to it, you'll have to type in Caltech Electric Field at Google. And when you do, this is what you'll see. So as you can see here, we have a screen, a uh, blank screen. And whenever I click, I place a charge. And then the computer program calculates what the electric field lines will look like around that charge. So here we can see that for a charge of one, positive one, there are five field lines. So going back to your handout, we can draw five lines going outward. What we're missing here are the arrows, the direction. So since it is a positively charged object, when we bring in a positive test charge to test the field, we're going to see that it's repelled. So we're going to put um, oops. we're going to put arrows going out on each of these. Let's go back to the computer program. We can change it to be a negative charge by making this a negative one and hitting reset and then clicking. We'll let it draw the shape of the field. We can see that we still have five field lines, but we know that they're going to be pointed in the opposite direction since it's a negative charge. Taking a look at the next one on your handout, positive 2. How do we do positive 2 on the lab? I'm going to hit uh, reset, change this to positive 2, click, and it will automatically calculate. Notice about the number of lines. How many do we have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whereas with a charge of plus one, we only had five. So we know that the electric field is now twice as strong because the charge is twice as great. And these field lines are actually now twice as close to each other as they were. If you want to do two charges, you do it like this. Click and click. And it'll show the shape of the electric field. Okay. so. Now you know how this program works. Don't worry about drawing these lines that you see colored. These are um, showing a different, a different uh, concept called equal potential lines. We're focusing here on the electric field lines in white. Then I would like you to answer the questions on the back of the lab handout. Um, do your best with 9 through 12. It's on polarization. We're going to spend a little time tomorrow in class discussing that in, uh, in more detail. And then um, Yes, uh, make sure you've read the two pages from the book as well. Okay, see you tomorrow, scholars. Thank you.